in this video, we'll find the atomic number protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for titanium, Ti. So the first thing that we can look at here is that titanium on the periodic table, this is the atomic number. So for the atomic number for titanium, all of these isotopes, it's 22. So we can just write that in. That's the identity of titanium. For the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So we can write 22 in here again. So the isotopes of titanium, all these isotopes, they have the same atomic number, the same number of protons. Let's skip the neutrons and look at the electrons. We know that titanium is neutral. That's because there's no negative or positive sign after it. All the elements on the periodic table, they're listed as neutral. So if we have a neutral element, the number of protons and electrons, that's going to be the same. So all of these, 22. So when we look at isotopes here, the neutrons and the mass number, that's the only thing that's going to be different. So here's how we figure it out. When we're given the name titanium 46, this 46 here, that's the mass number. So we can write the mass number in for all of these isotopes. To find the number of neutrons, we know that the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So we have mass number and protons. So we can figure neutrons out. 22 plus something gives us 46. 22 plus 24, that would give us 46. Right here for titanium 47, 22 plus something gives us 47. That's 25. And we can figure the rest of these out as well. When we have a sample of titanium, like a block of titanium metal, all of these isotopes, these are naturally occurring isotopes, they'll be present. Most of them, though, are going to be titanium 48, something like 73% of the atoms in that block of titanium will have 26 neutrons. And then the rest will be a mix of these other isotopes. They have different number of neutrons. If we take the average of all of these isotopes based on how much there is on their abundance, that'll give us this average atomic mass here. Most often you'll be given either neutrons or mass number to figure these things out. Sometimes teachers won't give you neutrons or mass number. They'll just say look at the periodic table in that case, you would round the average atomic mass to the nearest whole number. So that would be 48 here. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for TI, titanium. Thanks for watching.